joking. <laughs> is this a beer or a dessert? Nostro! Thomas here. Hello, Chattanooga. Hello, Chattanooga. Welcome. We are joined by a very special person here. Who do we have here? Chris Dial from Wanderlinger. 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 Yeah. Wanderlinger. What an excellent local brewery. And remember, folks, you're going to go to WDEF and vote for your favorite brewery. And Wanderlinger is on the list. You guys Absolutely. have been nominated. We appreciate the opportunity to come down here and sample some wonderful goodness with you. So excited about these. So excited Look at all these. these. Yep. I wish they were all like 16 ounces, though. Oh. But it's, that's okay. We'll take it from here. I don't know. We wouldn't we be able to walk out of here. We can't. We can't indeed. We can't indeed. Well, Chris, would you like to walk us through the flight here and just let us know a little bit about what we're getting ready to, to drink? Yeah. So I've got you uh, eight different beers here. Okay. Uh, we started with something that's a new release: our uh, our pale ale. We okay. call it Pick, Pluck, and Slap Pale Ooh. Ale. Uh, we do a lot of bluegrass music here, so this is a tribute to bluegrass. Excellent, I excellent. Like well, it. Shall we dive in then? I dive think right we in. Shall. Pluck and Slap, folks. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers, Cheers to beer. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Let's check it out. Mm. Oh yeah, that is good. Wow. So this is only five percent. Very. Okay. Low level, easy drinking beer. We, we like to call anything that's around the fives a very crushable beer. So we have quite a few beers that fall in that category. This is definitely crushable. I mean, definitely this, crushable, smooth, very fresh. And as you're, it's, it's aromatic, but it's not like, you know, overly, but it, what am I, what am I, what am I smelling you know, here? Exactly. You're, tasting it. you're gonna get some notes of cantaloupe, uh -huh. uh, some clementine, uh, some herbal spice. Um, this is Ooh. one that our assistant brewer, Jared Zidlowski put together. Okay. Um, that's one of his. He's come up with about three or four that are just mainstream for us. Yeah. Uh, excellent options. And this is one that we just good released job, about two weeks ago. Yeah, good job, Jared. Definitely a crushable one. Mm. Delicious. Mm. As they crush them back. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. That's a that's a very drinkable, crushable beer. And those those notes, right? Oh, delicious. 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 Now you've just wet our appetite, oh. I think. Oh, oh. But before we have another beverage. How about a question for Chris? A question for Chris. Would you like for me to ask it? Or would no, you like I'd to like ask to ask it. it. Go you, for it. You talk a lot. You talk I too much. I do talk a lot. So too let's much. get Chatty Cathy out of the camera. I'm that's right. here. How'd you get your name, Chris? So Wanderlinger, uh, my brother is an avid backpacker and hiker. Oh, cool. What do you do when you're in the woods? Well, you wander. You wander, wander yeah. and you linger. That's right. So our name came about uh, us being uh, driven towards the outdoor enthusiast and hiking and camping. Uh, Wanderlinger is more a state of mind and what you do uh, when you're out in the woods in the country. Awesome. I awesome. love it. I, well, love I love it. I love, love to it. wander and linger into here because this place is, is, is full of goodness. So Absolutely. what are we looking at as a second round here? Second one I got you is our lager. This okay. is a German lager. It's a Munich Helle style German lager. Okay. Um, one of the things that we do different with all of our beers is we have a reverse osmosis system. So the first thing we do is strip all the impurities out of the water okay. and we build it back up. So this being a Munich style, we are changing the water table to taste like it would be in Munich, Germany. Oh, wow. So that's that's the first fantastic. thing that we do in order to authenticate our beer and make sure that it's as close to traditional style as possible. Absolutely. That is sweet. My goodness. Well, let's let's take it let's down. Dive let's in. have some German beer. Here we go. And this is one of our top selling both uh, in the tap room and around town and recently has gone into cans. And if I close my places. eyes, I'm in Germany. You are in Germany. Yes. You're in Munich. I'm in, now, I'm in I have, Munich. I have to show my hand here, A lot folks. cheaper. Yes. Yeah, a lot I, cheaper. I went to Munich. He did. And I had the beer there. This is colder than the beer there, right? Correct. But my goodness, this is authentic stuff. This is it. This yep. is it. You nailed it. Crisp nailed and it. clean. Crisp and clean. Yep. If, if I could uh, 
serve them just like they are in Germany. The big steins. The big steins yes. and uh, temperature controlled. Right. We have been uh, one big cooler. It's hard to uh, alter the temperature of each individual beer as you may authentically want to mm, drink them. That's good. That is delicious. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. Now I've got to ask you a question. Okay, fair enough. So this space is incredible. I see you've got live music. Um, you've got an excellent bar top. You have a business working area. Can you tell us where you're located? And can you give yep. us just a hint of what people can expect when they walk in the door? Sure. So we are on uh, 1208 King Street is the official address. It's basically the corner of King and Market, uh, hidden behind the Moxie Hotel. So the Moxie Hotel sits right up on the corner. Uh, we are at the building behind them between that and the ADM grain silos. Awesome. Uh, our, we are at the back of that building. We've got a sign out front, sign on the corner of the building, uh, but we're kind of tucked away off the street. Yep, and the sign is is vertical. Vertical, right, right. visible from Market Street. Okay. As soon as the uh, the leaves fall off those trees or if the trees go missing, I won't, I won't <laughs> complain. Uh, I didn't say, that. say anything. You're yeah. not paying for anybody. I made no sense. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do this. Nothing's gonna happen, folks. Nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen. Excellent, excellent. But yeah, you'll definitely see it. So wonderful. This, this. I mean, it's very inviting. It is. It's a very inviting, very inviting space. And I, I cozy love space too. Really, I love the Thank bar you. top, the concrete bar. It's wonderful. You'll see some pictures of it. So you want to walk us through this third one? Yeah. So the third one you're gonna have is our Mount Sterling Pilsner. This is a German Pilsner. Uh, we got the name uh, trying to follow our outdoorsy mindset. There is a fire tower out near Gatlinburg in the Smokies. Okay. Uh, that's called Mount Sterling. That's where the name came, comes from, along with us using Sterling hops in the production of this beer. It's a dry hopped Pilsner. Okay. Tying it in nicely. I like it. Tying it very nicely. Yeah. We don't do that on everyone, but it works very well hey. on this one. Sure it works. Cheers. Take, cheers. Oh, a nice light. Oh, yeah, delicious. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. Thank you. That's, this is another um, day-long uh, situation here. Yeah, right? absolutely. Is this, yeah, long. is this another crusher? I believe yeah, it is. It's 5.4 to 5.6. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is fantastic. Very crushable. You had mentioned, drinking. yeah, so you'd mentioned on the last that you can that. Do you, or what other uh, beers do you can? So right now we only have two that we can. We've got the lager, okay. and then we have our West Coast style IPA. Okay. Uh, we will can more in the future, but we just canned three weeks ago. So it was our first try, see what goes over well. You know, us as a business, get familiar with that canning process and the distribution of that. Uh, so you will begin to see more options out in the, in the market. Excellent. Two right now. Excellent. And you guys can see behind me, those are big bathtubs. No, they're really <laughs> nice. This is where it all happens, right? Yeah. All yeah, the magic. This is where the magic We've got happens. a 15-barrel system and uh, five 15-barrel fermenters, so we can put together quite a, uh, a lot of beer. We're, uh, we're no you know major player, but we put out enough beer to take care of our tap room. And Absolutely. We're on tap roughly 80 places around the city, wow. so yeah. you should be able to find us uh, many of the places that you like to go frequent. Okay. Are you canning and going in grocery stores yet? Or? Uh, we have a couple of more packaged liquor stores okay. right now. Yeah. Uh, we have one uh, Food City location carrying us. Okay. Uh, we will expand into more of those, but it's uh, it's kind of trickling in. Yeah. Excellent. I'm sure that's a totally different game, too. So you've got to kind of wrap your mind around it, figure out how much beer you have to produce, right. can it, and then it's probably a science. In this it case. is. And with one of our beers being a lager, they mm -hmm. take six to seven weeks. So okay. some beers can be done in two and a half, three and a half weeks. Uh, uh, loggers take much longer, yep. so okay. yep. we have to plan accordingly. And we you know, don't want to get in a position where we put out a bunch of beer and we can't fulfill the order. Right. Certainly, out. certainly. Just That's trying good. to be very strategic. Good top shelf stuff, though, and this this will flood the market. I'm telling you, this, no, this is delicious. delicious. What we've had so okay. far. Is yeah. Can you walk us through the fourth? Yeah. So the fourth one is our uh, number two seller. It's our hundred day IPA. Uh, this is a West Coast style IPA. And so this is our highest gravity that we sell on a regular basis at 6.7. So most of our beers stay right in the, the middle range. Um, but this is our, probably our, what I would classify, I like IPAs. So this is our number oh, yeah. one seller when it comes to IPAs. And uh, if you like German style beers, this one doesn't fall in that category. That's so right. we, we had to have something that was for the other folks that aren't German style. And, Fortunately, uh, we have a very mixed palate here. We, we can drink it. Absolutely. We can drink Absolutely. anything. All right. Well, cheers. Let's, let's take cheers. this one down. Cheers. That's what I'm cheers. drinking. So. It looks like it, right? <laughs> yes. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's good. Wow. Delicious. So you're going to get some of that bitterness, some of that oh, happiness. Yeah. Some um, of that IPA bitterness for yep. sure. But it's well-rounded. It's so smooth as well. Mm -hmm. So what do you do to smooth this out? 
Well, I'm not the brewer, so I'm not going to okay. try to okay. make up too much. Right, uh, right. Being a salesperson, I am good at making stuff up. But uh, <laughs> the guys in the back are the ones responsible for uh, creating the mouthfeel and creating the smoothness behind right. the beer. Uh, they try to make every beer that we make we don't filter any of them so it's the natural processes that they're going through that are cleaning the beer up finding the beer making sure that we don't have particulate in the beer unless it was a new england style that yep. you know, that belongs to an filter type mm -hmm. beer. Yep. everything else is just high quality craftsmanship by them in the back and absolutely um, creates consistent good clean easy drinking beer yeah because this is everything I mean, this in is ipa delicious. this delivers. is what 6.7 yeah, 6.7 which is kind of a heavy hitter, but it Such goes a down kind. really smooth. So kind. Kind. It's kind, a kind, kind is a great word. Kind. It really is. Yeah. I mean, this could be dangerous. It could be. You know? And yeah, that's you, when you call you sit Uber. back and you drink that's a few right. of these. That's right. uh, you, that's better right. call, you better call Uber after that, You know, that, sometimes folks. with a 6.7, you're going to feel it. I mean, you're going right. to taste it, right? It's got that. Sometimes you do taste really... the harshness in other beers. It's like, oh, I can taste that it's a heavier alcohol content. This is smooth. It'll sneak up on you. You won't notice. Yep. Well, I'll have to take a gallon of that back with me or something like <laughs> that. That is That's, delicious. That is absolutely delicious. You had mentioned something about the um, you know, time to market and getting everything out. How long have you been here? So we're coming up on one year. We opened okay. December 1st last year yeah. in conjunction with Main, Main by 24. All right. uh, we're going to be doing that again this year for our anniversary party. Just uh, That was going to be my next question. Are you going to do any kind of anniversary yep, party? Yeah, we have an anniversary party coming up on uh, December 7th. Uh, we'll have uh, live music. We'll have... The back open so we can do tours. Come on down, meet, folks. Meet December the 7th. opportunity. Yep. December seventh. There'll be a, a lot of activities going on here that folks can come down for. So I'll just pass Thank this you. over here. We're not going to spank stuff? Chris. Can <laughs> we're I snag it for just two seconds? Sure, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Snag away. All right, we're going to take a quick break here. Right, snag away. That's right. That's right. All right. All right moving folks. on to the what? The fifth one. We do have a fifth Ooh. one. It only looks like we have four, but this is starting at five. Right. Right, folks. Stick with us, please, what? okay? <laughs> this this looks so delicious. My mouth is watering. Can you tell me about this fifth so sample? This is a small batch release. Okay. This is our yes. Juicy Mosaic IPA. Uh, it's something that our brewers, so we do a lot of small batch where they'll make the equivalent of about a keg's worth of beer we put on here at the tap room. Uh, this is one that they're trying out, see how people like. Uh, you are going to get uh, kind of a New England inspired IPA out of this. It's going to have citrus flavors, um, a little tropical sense to it. And this is one, if it goes well, could be one of our next mainstay beers. I love it. I so can smell, smell the tropical flavors. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I picked it up. And it's very refreshing. It. I can smell it. <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. This one sits I'm, at 6%. I'm pretty so excited right. about oh, this. It's going to be up a little, yes. but not too bad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's delicious. That just like definitely get the tropical yeah. hints. It's smooth. It fills your mouth and mm -hmm. your I mean it just warms you right here. This is good stuff. This is uh, very smooth, very tropical. Um, wow. Great. I, I want you oh, to keep yeah. this around. <laughs> I think you should keep this around. This is, uh, I'm, I'm not a sweet beer fan. This is not a sweet beer when we say it's tropical, right? You can you yeah. can no, yeah, yeah. Remove the sweet. Right. There is no sweet in this. Yeah. It's it's just a good tropical beer i mean it's got great folks that went down too easy he, he did i need to catch up a little bit right all well, right chris question we do for small you. batches like this every single week we're releasing something new that the brewers have come up with that's delicious it keeps those creative minds mm -hmm. flowing it keeps us happy yeah. so how'd you pick chattanooga uh, my brothers lived here for 10 years okay. and it was just natural for uh the brewery to be in his hometown yeah, yeah. He's happy, and we're happy, and we're part it's of the great community. Town, we're happy. We're I'm happy. happy. Do I have Everybody's happy! happy. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're sure. I don't know if my armpits are, but I'm sure. We're, Both we're, hands? We're happy again Two that hands. you're here. Hands up. And remember, hands I know up. you've already said the address, but this is a long thing, so you want to go ahead yeah, and shout your address do. out again yep. one more time? 1208 King Street, uh, basically corner of King and Market, hidden behind the Moxie Hotel between the Moxie and the ADM grain silos. Yep. Get remember, down here, folks. That's exactly right. Remember, you've nominated you've nominated these guys, Wanderlinger, 
perfect and wonderful place. Now vote for them. Come down, drink their stuff, and vote for them. Yeah, now, yeah, delicious beer. What do you think? I am so anxious to have number six. What Rose. do we have next? Number so six. So number six is our Just Another IPA Batch 3. So what we're doing with Just Another IPA Batch is one, two, three, and beyond. We're changing up the hops and certain uh, yeast each time that we brew the batch. Okay. So it's, it's a rotating hop series that we want to see how things turn out. If we get a really good batch that we're super proud of and people love, it may be something that we change the name on and we keep forever. Um, these are the ones that we're working on the large batch system instead of the small batch. Okay. So we do offer this around town. So the one that we have right now is um, Cinco and Amarillo. Uh, it's going to give you some of the tangerine, citrusy flavor to it. Um, a little bit of pine mixed in with that. So you can find this... Uh, Currently, it just went out this week, so I think there's about 20 nice. different bars and restaurants that have taken it this week, uh, and it'll be on until we run out, which is usually about a month's time, and then yeah. we have the next new batch that comes on. I wonder if our friends from Loopies will have this beer on tap. I bet they will. I bet they will. Oh, they do. All right. Hey, let's do this thing. He Folks, already, let's have them run out the, a little the quicker, brakes. okay? <laughs> Cheers. Do what? Cheers, brother. You had to pump the brakes on that one. I saw you were getting ready to dive in. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's good. What a great mix, too, of everything you just said. Wow, I can't wait to sample this in other places and Wonderlinger. This is mm. get yourself a full pint of it. Again, right? absolutely. So, what's the ABV on this? 6.2? 6 6.2. Yeah. Okay, another kind. Uh, another 6 kind, 6%. You can't really taste. No. You know, when people say, man, that's a heavy drink or whatever, they're going to taste a lot of alcohol and it's got, the, you know, it just kind of overrides the taste of the beer. It's got this kind is, of a harshness to it. This does this not. This really does not. Yeah. I mean, it's really very, very smooth. No. Yeah, so, the brewers try to make every beer very smooth um, with a, a something that you can sit back you can drink and you don't feel like you're tasting that right don't and and I, do taste, that we make. I taste the pininess too yeah it's not overriding no, but it really it's, it's a nice back end there it's 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 nice very piney good. undertone absolutely unfortunately what you guys missed we mm. just ran out of was our hemp beer ah. we have a lot of interest right now we yeah. loaded it very quick we have another small batch that's being made right now Chris um, you can just load it in the back of my vehicle yeah, over yeah. there it's not ready to go quite yet <laughs> uh, we partnered Man. with Happy Hemp Pharmacy okay ah, yeah. cool and excellent we are hoping a that, local uh, partnership to yep. create a great product yep. and we're going like to be re-releasing that for all that are interested yeah. in November 9th November, November 9th, 9th re-release right after my birthday folks come on down for his oh, birthday down for come my birthday. Birthday. had That's to plug right. his birthday folks goodness <laughs> gracious <laughs> plug 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 away <laughs> <laughs> We have a couple more. This is uh, the bittersweet end of this. But I don't. I don't want this to end. I don't either. This is wonderful. Can it be never-ending flight? Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. I mean, you know, I want. I want so many more, but we just have. You yeah, know, but you know, uh, we'll get our hands slapped here. How about you walk us through this seventh? <laughs> yeah. So number seven is our Appalachian Alt beer. Okay. So this is a, another German beer. All right. Um, this one is 5.6 percent. This is a darker beer, uh, okay. but it's going to drink like a light. Um, authentically, it's a Dusseldorf Alt beer. Okay. So hopefully this is one that you like. It's one that we're considering putting in cans here in the near future. Okay. See that, folks? Very dark. Nice dark Perfect color for to fall. it. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. You're going to get a little chocolate, maybe a little banana bread. Caramel, some I was of those say flavors. Caramel, yep, Each yep, person for sure. tastes something a little different. But. I've got the caramel on the front end right here. I definitely did. A little as well. banana bread too. I'm glad you there said you that because it, you know, what is that? What is this? <laughs> yeah, this is great. And again, you said it smooth. Oh, that's a, I mean, that's a nice caramel. Little this is a kind. Bread. Yeah, this is. So I, I see right here, mm, it's just mm. more complex mm -hmm. than a brown ale. It really is because it's got so much added. There's to a lot it. of flavor I mean, to it. There's a lot of flavor to this. It's a light. It's light, but it's flavorful. Mm. Yeah, it's delicious. I could drink like eight of these as I'm working in the office space over here, which I will soon. soon. They have the Wi-Fi. Office, the office space is on the east wing. <laughs> office space. You okay. really can. You can come in and, and do your work. You can come in and, and, and watch a live band. This place is amazing. Yep. Amazing. It has, has everything you want, folks. So yeah, I'll be back here in just uh, about five minutes or so. <laughs> <laughs> that just means you didn't leave, okay? <laughs> Chris, how tall are your ceilings in here? Yeah. What is this? About 13 feet. They are. It's huge. This is awesome. <laughs> Lots of space. It is. It is. It's awesome. It's great it's for awesome. the live music. 
It's, it is. It's all concrete, so we have to we have to baffle it. And make you, it. Uh, you do, and I noticed that over here. What kind what? of acts do you have coming through yeah, here? Yeah, good question. Yeah. So we do uh, five nights a week. We have live music. Uh, okay. Sometimes six. Uh, Tuesday nights we do bluegrass with Forever Bluegrass. Yeah. Wednesday night is open mic night. So if you're a yeah. uh, musician or want to be a musician, I just come on maybe. Yeah. You sound Not like everybody. <laughs> so. you, you well, sounded. Oh my god. Whitney was my mother. So <laughs> <I guess. laughs> We uh, Thursdays yes. we always have uh, <laughs> cut that cut that yes, moving yeah. on. Uh, Thursday nights we do uh, Danimal and Friends Dan Pinson with uh, various musicians play on Thursdays and then Sundays we have the other brothers along with Amber Foltz and uh, Eric oh, yeah. Turner. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, and then we we try to slide in some larger bands uh, on Friday and Saturday nights. Okay. So here coming up on our anniversary party we've got Ashley and the X's, Sleazy Sleazy, mm-hmm. Cold Planet and. Cutlass Colt. Sweet. Ooh. I'm going down and can you remind everyone uh, see I've had like seven of these can you remind everyone when that date is? That is December 7th. Boom. December 7th. Yep. Boom. You know that date. December 7th. That's another birthday date. For who? My wife. Oh. <laughs> see happy birthday hun. <laughs> And I bet the, you got points for that. On that note, in advance. <laughs> I know. On Hopefully that note, remember it the day of. Yeah. <laughs> I will. I will for sure. Can you? He needs a calendar <laughs> invite sent to him. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, this, I'm excited about this one. This is the last dark, one. This is our beer. Buzzards Coffee Porter. We use local Velo <laughs> Coffee over on Main Street. Nice. Uh, so we take our traditional Hobbs Cabin American Porter. In. Yes, we try to use everything local as mm. often as possible. Uh, so this incorporates their coffee and yeah. our brew, and uh, hopefully you guys will like this one. I'm sorry you're not enjoying this with us because I can tell I'm gonna I enjoy this one. This is this is a very this is a great I can morning s- beer. This one mm. is deliciously. Mm. It's on a 5.9 percent. Deliciously it's still wonderful on the show. It's, it's something you can that. drink oh. in the morning. It really is, and I think I will, folks. I think I will. Yeah, you don't can this? Not yet. Oh. oh. Gosh, it's part, it's part of the plan. Yes, good. please do. Good, 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 please good. do. This is several several of the folks <laughs> around town have requested that we put this in the cans. You know, you have. I mean, it's it's That's all solid. quality. That's solid. I'm telling you, but this guy really is just. I think this may be my favorite. I mean, it really is delicious. It's well, they're that's all because ex- we have a love for dark, well, dark, dark, dark. True, beer. true. We do indeed. But the flavors yeah. in this are. Stay, I mean, stay tuned. We have many more dark beers wow. coming throughout the winter. Last year we released oh. a Schwartz beer that we yes. are considering redoing again this year. What does that mean? It's just stay tuned for it. You'll okay. like it. Nah, Schwartz like beer. It. We have our Russian Imperial Stout. Yeah. Uh, right. We'll That's have our non-coffee yeah. version of okay. this beer. All right. Uh, and then the guys in the back are dabbling with a couple other ideas that. Uh, we're gonna give it a try. Well, I tell you one thing. I, I know one person that can drink about 15 gallons of this a day. It's Michael. Michael loves his coffee. Is this a coffee milk stout? Not a milk. Not, not a milk, milk stout. No, it, this is just so a coffee. But it's porter. smooth like that coffee milk stout. It's, it's smooth like that. Yeah, very good. But Michael would love this. Yeah. Home run, Wandlinger. Home you. run. Hmm. Mm. I mean, it's really smooth. That's why I was wondering about that, right? It's like, oh, it's delicious. This is great. Well, Chris, thank you. my goodness, thank you so much for bringing these wonderful flavors. This, thank you very much. This greatness to our city of Chattanooga. Yeah. I mean, really, and, and everyone out there, you're my million and five, his million and eight. Yeah. Combined, Sorry. it's a three point something. Yeah. No, we're not good at math, but it's actually four. It. No, it's three point something. <laughs> rem- remember, um, you've nominated Wanderlinger for Best Brew in uh, Tennessee Valley's Best. So remember, there's going to be a link to go to WDEF to vote for these guys. Let's vote for them. Let's vote support our local support breweries. Local breweries. Yes. Help us and, out. Absolutely. You know, outside of October, still come here. Absolutely. Enjoy the beer. Absolutely. Go to your local yeah. restaurants Absolutely. and enjoy them. Can you tell us where we can uh, find some of your beers and some of the restaurants? Or are you 80 places around the city. So yeah. How so many? Pretty much 80. 80? 80. You go to so a place in Chattanooga, they probably pretty much have okay. it. So. We'll take up go. the rest of the show to name everybody. So I'll, I'll just say it's 80 places. Yeah. Right. Anywhere you go, you probably have a good chance of running into us. Wander in, linger forever. Oh, I like that. That was good. Have you yeah. been working on that? Well, I, you know, I was working that on that. <laughs> <laughs> done. Done. 
Chris. Thank you, this. my friend. Thanks, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having us thank out you. here. Yeah, yeah, thank you it. very much. Wanderlinger, thank folks. It's Wanderlinger. Check them out. I great mean, beer. Is, great woo. atmosphere. Yes. Great place. 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 Great place.